you've seen is what those Navy pilots saw in 2004 and there have been some 300 sightings since then and I've talked to those pilots and they know they saw something and their radars locked onto it and and then all of a sudden it was here on the surface and then it's there uh, and they don't know what it is and we don't know what it is we hope it's not an adversary here on Earth that has that kind of technology. Uh, but it's something. And uh, and so this is a mission that we're constantly looking. What? Who is out there? Who are we? How did we get here? How did we become as we are? How did we develop? How did we civilize and are those same conditions out there in a universe that has billions of other suns in billions of other galaxies? It's so large, I can't conceive it. It was suggested to me by many different people. They did want your comment on what you think the fighter pilot saw. I think most people saw that 60 Minutes uh, piece and there were a lot of newspaper uh, pieces about whether or not it was Russia or China or perhaps more likely uh, some extraterrestrial intelligent beings. Uh, what is your theory? What, you've heard a lot of options. Which one do you think is the most credible if you can choose? My personal opinion is that the universe is so big, and now there are even theories that there might be other universes. And if that's the case, who am I to say that planet Earth is the only location of a life form that is civilized and organized like ours? Hey, Shalom Makim, Shalom. First thing and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory on this duty. How up, Bashimi, how was shy, Bashim, Rakakadash, double honors to the elders, the apostles of Great Millstone, blessings and salutations to the hopeful elect. It was in the gospel broad, lifting up the standard of Yahweh, Bashimi, how was shy, wherever it may be. Saki of Mahalaya, coming back with another lesson through the spirit. Lord's will to be edifying going into this NASA director. Um, clearly, you can tell he's a devil. You can literally see the double horn sticking out on the side of his head under the red thing of NASA. <laughs> Spirit called that out. That was pretty dope. You can actually, if you pay attention, it looks like a little devil horn sticking out of this demon's head. And what really stood out about what he said was the fact that um, we hope that it's not an adversary from Earth that has access to this technology. And if you think of adversary, he's really talking about the men of the Lord, the prophets, because we the ones that have access to these vehicles okay and we can call them down at will if we believe believe it or not okay when brothers are together these angels these chariots which that's what they are they manifest you know themselves to the brothers to the to the israelites and to the heathens you know but to our good and to their downfall and he this man he knows you know he knows what it is he knows that uh these are the angels and he knows that the negro latino and native american those are the lord's elect have uh, uh he knows that that's a connection to us okay those vehicles are connected directly to the hopeful elect okay so that's why i tell brothers not to worry because literally when the scriptures say that uh in that time michael shall stand for the prince of thy uh for the for the uh roughly paraphrasing the prince of thy people shall stand and that should be a, a, a time of trouble unlike any other time our forces are already here brothers our protection is here you know, it's already here and, 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 and they're showing themselves So they're going to come in a time need You know 
Because hey, this NWO is getting ready to be shut down because you got this whole new Facebook shit called Meta, which you know I ain't really looked too much into it, but I did. I know that Meta goes back into the Greeks. It means to go beyond, behind, or after. All right, and that's another way of merging man with machine. Okay, transhumanism. You know, link you up to the IoT. So it wasn't a coincidence that they changed the name to Facebook. You know, claiming after so many lawsuits, this and this and that, we're gonna change the name. But regardless, if you change the name, it represents the same thing. It just means a uh, 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 basically an upgraded version. You know what I'm saying? Still the same thing, same algorithms, just more enhanced. You know, and and link you up to the IoT. All right. So um, the Most High, how about Shimi how shy is making power moves on the planet Earth, man. And like I said, you can see the horn behind this devil. Even though he's standing behind a NASA sign with the red dart in it, the Most High, he's showing you through the Spirit that these people ain't right. All right, because the Most High, he has a very, very, uh, he has a, he has a, he has a, he has a sense of humor. Okay, he has a very good sense of humor, man. He's very funny. If you pay attention uh, on how he created certain people, certain animals, and he created the fucking Edomite. I mean, how funnier than that can you get? You know, you created a proud demon with no rhythm, no sauce, just a, a nigga with a, with a monkey suit on that likes to kill shit. And that's all this man is, man. All right, so they're going down, and they know, they know they're going down. Because if you type in UFO on Google or uh, you go to, uh, what do you call that site? Uh, duck, go, duck, go, duck, 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 go. Duck, go, duck or some shit. Uh, basically, man, you can get a lot of information that Google sends us out. And um, I typed in a filter. Well, I typed in a search on uh, on uh, Google, and uh, basically, you had several so-called UFO reports within the last couple of hours, man. They're talking about scientists saying that these things are living. They're coming from a parallel universe, which the whole concept of a parallel universe is a multiverse, man. Meaning that you have other Earth-like. Uh, 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 life, which the scriptures doesn't really solidify that, but the scriptures does solidify uh, uh, other worlds and planets and Earth-like planets. So if he meaning of a multiverse like that with different Earth-like atmosphere type planets, then yeah, you can say that, but there's no thousand cop and carbies of, of, of myself or any other brother, because uh, why would the Lord do that? That's confusion. But that's the whole concept of them doing away with a God over the higher power and that's what this meta bs is all about and this is why this man is his butt hurt he's mad he's hurt and he's he's shaking esau's in straights man because they know that this technology that this uh angelic uh uh technology that's coming from the heavens they know that it's going to be in a downfall because if that was not the case they would not make movies like independence day war of the worlds they wouldn't make movies like the knowing like at the end of the movie the knowing basically those kids represented the elect and they got beamed up and took it to a whole nother place okay and then at the end what they show you the tree of life okay so uh and it showed you also that in the end days the angels were literally walking on the earth man because they were following the children and the parents were trying to figure out like what the hell going on who's these beings but they represented the angels so through the spirit man we're gonna be all good you know so esau you can expect for him to, to just lose his damn mind you know, and you got Jake out here not knowing what's going on. You got Jake that's buying into the whole C-19 thing, you know, buying into the whole propaganda of getting everything back to normal. When reality of it is, they came out with some type of uh, new variant, some type of v sum 3.0 that basically bypassed all the Vanessas, man. Basically, if you got that Vanessa, this Vanessa, that Vanessa, you get the, the boost, the high chair. Basically, this alleged new variant is, is is more deadlier in that these particular you know what's can't do anything about it. So guess what they're gonna do? You're gonna end up having to get in the fourth one, then the fifth one, then the sixth one, then more uh, booster seats. And this shit never ends, man. That's why hey, he has to be taken out of power. Esau has to be taken out of the earth, man. Okay, for the good of the earth, for his own damn good, and ultimately for the good of the Israelites. All right. So um, anyway, without further delay, this is the book of Revelation 19, and I'm going to start at verses 11. Matter of fact, let's start at 10 right here. It says, and I fell at his feet to worship him, and he said it to me, see thou do it not, meaning don't do it, okay? I am thy brethren, 
thy fellow servant. I am thy fellow servant and brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai worship the Most High. It says, for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. Okay? So, hey, that's the reason why we're coming in these prophetic breakdowns and able to filter this NASA madness. Uh, this madness that they're pushing through the scriptures, man. Okay? Because we're the prophets. And we understand these things. You know, like um, I remember that episode of X-Files when it came back, back in 2017, I believe, they was talking about how global markets were toppled on a Friday and how they had these uh, so-called UFOs and they showed basically Esau's left-hand chariots and they went into the whole Area 51 phenomenon, which Area 51 is nothing but a fucking, it's nothing but a stage, man. And chariots don't crash, okay? You ain't gonna find a, 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 a spaceship that's on the side of the road crash with an alien bleeding out his neck. No, 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 no. Okay, because that whole concept of E.T. is making a mockery of the angels and the men of the Lord. Okay, because if you look at E.T., he just looked like a, a retarded Jake. You know, he was brown like Jake. You know, awkward like Jake. And that was so funny. One of my best friends in elementary school by the name of Calvin Lundy, he looked just like E.T. That was his nickname. We called him E.T., you know what I'm saying? That was my dude. And if I showed y'all brothers a picture of him, I'm like, damn, this nigga do look like E.T. You know what I'm saying? stands for extraterrestrial and Paul went into that concept of uh, uh, celestial bodies and terrestrial bodies all right because basically extraterrestrial just means superhuman or you can say celestial because celestial goes into heavenly abodement while terrest goes into the terrain which means of the earth all right so it says here and I saw heaven open and open and behold a white horse that goes into the chariot that Yahweh Shah is going to be on. It says, and he sat upon him and was called faithful and true. And in righteousness does he judge and make it war. Hence Esau had what they called the space force. Okay, which they had up and running for some time. And I believe they've been headed in the works administrations ago. Because how in the hell Trump get in and all of a sudden the space force is up and running. No, they've been having this thing on the rise for a long time. They've been probably... Uh, uh, Conspired to, to come up with the Space Force Since the Nixon era The Reagan era man Especially when um, he was like We may be prepared to fight a force Outside of this planet Or outside of this galaxy And we all must come together Alright So they've been Already knowing about the heavenly technology So therefore you don't think That they were trying to prep for this day You think they just Prepped at the last minute Hell no, nah, man They've been knowing what it was That's why you had an Air Force Which the Space Force is nothing but an extension of the Air Force. Because I believe you got six branches of uh, military, you know? And it says his eyes was of a flame of fire and on his head were many crowns. Why was there many crowns on the Lord's head? Because he's taken over the nations. He subdued the kingdoms, okay? He took over and reclaimed his earth, all right? It didn't mean he had 12 crowns on his head like he's Bowser or something, no. No, when it represents he had many crowns, Meaning that he took down the nation's kings and rulers, if you may understand. And it says, and had a name written that no man knew but himself, right? And that name really goes, basically, uh, when it says no man knew, it really goes into uh, being renewed, okay? Because the name of the Lord is only being pushed forth through the Israelites, mainly the men of the Lord. Because you got other Israelite camps out here that's not pushing the name of Yahweh Bashi, Yahweh Shai, which they're going to pay. They're going to pay harshly for that. And it says, and he was clothed with vesture, dipped in blood. And his name was called the word of the most high. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed in linen, white and clean. Okay. So what he's saying is he's breaking it down in a symbolic or allegorical sense. Because this is what he's seeing in a vision. But through the understanding we have today, through the Holy Spirit and the technology and the information that's came out in a lot of days, we understand that this is talking about, uh, chariots man because uh horses represents power it wasn't literally no flying white bambies in the air man or, or white unicorns with these angels wearing white you know on a damn saddle man no it was talking about spaceships man so-called ufos which ufos goes into unidentifiable flying flying objects and esau knows exactly what they was he knows that these things are identifiable he knows these are the angels of the lord okay out of all the technology he have on the planet earth out of all the things he claimed to be no, that he's claimed to be uh, omnipotent in, you tell you mean to tell me he haven't got a close up of these vehicles and who drives them and what drives them? 
fuck yeah he did because when they show the footage of the what they call uh, uh of the chariots when he shows footage of them you notice they're blurry he does that on purpose because he don't want people waking up to the truth on what's really out there but i guarantee you without a doubt that man got pictures and footages of exactly what's in the pilot suit of these ships man and he know they look like negroes latinos and native americans and this is the reason why he's trying to do away with our nation because he knows that that's the force that's coming to rescue the hopeful elect man he knows that so he's at his final attempt to cut that off cut off that blessing because he's like wait a minute if i could stop these negroes from getting a blessing then they then, then the lord probably won't deliver them and then i can get my birthright back but he's so stupid because it's right we, we're reading it here that he's getting ready to go down man all right it says and out of his mouth goes a sharp sword that should smite the nations isn't isn't esau part of the nations and he should rule them with the rod of iron meaning that it ain't gonna be some little punk ass rule it ain't gonna be some you know everybody's getting along no a rod of iron means just that it's gonna be a harsh draconian type rule on the right hand side man okay the lord is going to bring back draconianism for you edomites and you other nations man israelites is going to be a, a utopia for us but it's going to be a dystopia for you heathens okay because right now the israelites we're currently living in a dystopian society okay which means a, a harsh rule full of draconian laws full of uh Un unwise laws full of deceits full of treachery full of murder okay that's the type of bs that we're going through as a nation man unjustly it's justly in the eyes of the most high but esau is very unjust okay uh reading on him and it says here and out of his mouth goes a sharp sword that with it he should smite the nations and he should rule them with the rod of iron and treaded the wine press of the fierceness and the wrath of the almighty power all right so let's get the precept to that real quick this is the book of isaiah the 63rd chapter and i'm gonna start at verses uh one it says here who is that coming from edom with dire garments of basra basra is a prominent city in edom you can say the modern day basra is america because esau he uh stole this and in, this inhabitant it says, and this is a glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. How? In the chariots. It says, I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save, which proves it's Yahweh Shai, because Yahweh Shai goes into, he is a deliverer. Yahweh Shai means to deliver. Yah is he. Okay? That's why Joshua, the name of Joshua was Yahweh Shai, because it means to deliver. Because, hey, when Moses died off, who delivered the children of Israel into the promised land? Who seen them through? Joshua and Caleb. Okay, which Joshua is a basically an English way of saying Yahweh Shai, which cuts that Jesus bull. And it says here, Wherefore art thou red in thy apparel, and thy garments like him that treaded in the wine fat? Going into the symbology of the bloodshed he's going to spill on you demons, man. You Edomites, which you're the devil that the Bible talks about. It says, I have tread in the wine press alone. And of the people that was none with me. For I will tread them in my anger and trample them in my fury, and their blood should be sprinkled upon my garments, and I will stain my raiment. For the day of vengeance is in my heart, and a year of my redeemed is come. All right, so that's the precept here, which proves he's coming to take down you damn devils. Okay, you Edomites. So going back into Revelation, the 19th chapter, and it reads, And he had a vesture. Matter of fact, let's start at 15 again. It says, and out of his mouth go out the sharp sword that with it he should smite the nations and he should rule them with the rod of iron and tread at the wine press of the fierceness and the wrath of the almighty power. And he had a vesture on his vesture and on his thigh, a name written King of Kings, Lord of Lords. And I saw an angel standing in the sun and he cried with a loud voice saying to all the fowls that fly in the midst of heaven, come and gather yourselves together into the great supper of the most high. That you may eat the flesh of kings because that's where you have vultures for. Okay, that's why you have vultures and certain uh, crows. Okay, and it's a reason why they wear black because it represents death. They eat dead carcasses. If you pay attention to the animals and their colors, colors are very in tune with nature's, man, and omen nomens. You know, colors, it, it, they hold vibration. That's the reason why vultures, they're black with red beaks, man. All right. It says that you may eat the king flesh of kings and the flesh of captains and the flesh of mighty men. And the flesh of horses and all of them that sit on them and the flesh of all men both free bun small and great and i saw the beast and the king of the earth and their armies 
gathered together to make war against him that sat on the horse. Precept Revelation 12 and 9, man. It says, and against his army, the chariots. And that's what this demon right here is talking about. The one with the devil horn sticking out his head. That's what they're talking about. An adversary that harnessed this technology on earth. Because if we all call on the name Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, we can make the chariots appear right now if we wanted to, man. With that kind of faith. You know, if you tap into the spirit and you call on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man, look, the chariots will pop up. We have that kind of power, brothers. You got to start believing and we're going to harness that. And as this Jacob's trouble progress and things get worse, the Lord is going to put us in certain predicaments to solely have us to rely on him. So therefore, the miracles are going to be there in your face. You know, you're going to literally have access to the PlayStation controller, man, to play the game. You know, and it says here, and the beast was taken and with him, the false prophet, which that's the Roman Catholic Church. Okay. It says that wrought miracles before him, which he deceived them that received the mark of the beast, which we know what that is, the MOTB, all right, and them that worship his image, okay? It says, these both were cast alive until the lake burning with fire and brimstone, and the remnant were slain with the sword of him that sat upon the horse, the laser beams. It says, which sword proceeded out of his mouth, and all the fowls were filled with their flesh, man. So Yahweh Shah is going to come back and do straight destruction to you Edomites man and I'm gonna end it there giving all praises and glory and honor that's due to you how about shimmy how was shy and with that shalom and a barber ball, -ball.